you guys picture like if your testicle punctures, you just jizz all over the place? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. It's like blood, blood and jizz. Yeah. <laughs>A man says he does not want an apology from his ex-girlfriend and still has love for her even after she shot him in the testicle. Whoa. No oh way. My they have to be Latino, yeah. this couple. His name's no Charlie Glenn. Way. Oh, well. He's a creepy looking white dude. It's one, oh. of, your, it's one of yours. They're Appalachians. <laughs> Explain yourself, Steve. I, I have nothing on this one, dude. This is sim this is simpery that I've never seen. Love, so love, she love, shot love. him in a ball sack and he goes, I still got another testicle. Did you I say they're Appalachians? <laughs> Yeah, they're the Appalachian types. Yeah. Some people got that passion and they like that kind of relationship that's just turbulent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Some people like it. It's, it's passionate though. It's mountain trash people. Mm. Have you guys ever been in a relationship like that where it was like you were just toxic? Tumultuous? Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. But not that bad. Nah. No. no one shot my testicle. No, of course. But like, you know, get like at least the emotions of like yeah. the highs and the lows. I bet there's something nice. Hell yeah, dude. I had two girlfriends like that and they were both not Japanese, not Chinese, not wow. Vietnamese, not Filipino. Malaysian? Uh, I think I know what you're gonna, what, I, know, what, I think what, I know what, what race they are. What, what, what race? Not Taiwanese? Uh, uh, not Taiwanese, not, not Chinese, not Mongolian. Not Filipino? Nope. Interesting. What? Singaporean maybe? No, it starts with a K. Oh. Oh, oh Kazakhstan? Kazakhstan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. And they were Cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> With a K. <laughs> I think there's different kind of cuckoos. Yeah. I know that is addicting though when you have the tumultuous like ups and downs. Yeah. If you've never had it before, it is really like hard to get out of that. Yeah, so this guy says uh, he, she wanted me to take a walk with her and then all of a sudden I found out, oh, she has a pistol with her, that's weird. She said it was a pellet gun and I said, let me see it because I'm not going anywhere with you if you've got a gun. And then she <laughs> pulled it out and shot me. Damn. On the dick? What did he do before? <laughs> yeah, did he like it? What's what's yeah. what what made her want to do that? <laughs> and why was he worried that she had a gun? I expected a little more dialogue before the shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, more of a lead up. <laughs> See, so, that's what I'm saying. There was probably a fight before. Yep. And she goes, "Let's take a walk." That's a continuation. She, you know, See, like how women store it part. in their head. Yeah, yeah. 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 And saying, you're not even there anymore. She had the, she's having an argument with you and like in her head. Yeah. And while you're sitting there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you cheated on her like in the dream and she woke up and she goes, we're gonna walk outside. Yeah. And she's retaliating for Ooh. you cheating in the dream. Dude, whenever, dude, whenever I cheat on Nikki in the dream, it's the worst. What do you say to, to, to make it better? There's nothing I can do I for like know four I... hours. The first four hours of the day, it's just like, she just, you're in big trouble. Watch. Yeah, I'm a piece of shit. Yeah. When she wakes up and she looks at you, what does she do? Is she like, <laughs> she's, she's, she, I, she doesn't start with like that, <laughs> but like she's hey. being cold and I'm like, and then like after a couple hours, she's like, okay, I gotta tell you something. And I'm like, okay, yeah, what's up? And then she's like, yeah, I just had a dream last night and like you were cheating on me, you were really mean to me about it and all this stuff. And I'm like, oh, that's why you, and she's like, yeah, oh, so that's why I Who are you usually cheating on her with in the dream? Is Man. it her dream or <laughs> Phil DeFranco? Yeah, guys. <laughs> oh, that's why she's upset. She's upset that you're- <laughs> Ray William Johnson? <laughs> she caught me fucking the whole station crew. <laughs> All the men. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, it's usually just some random person she's never seen before. Oh. Random. And then she's like, well, then who is that? She's yeah, asking yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's not, you know, because women are <laughs> yeah. really emotional, obviously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's true. Completely true stereotype. Um, all of them, by the way, all of them, every yeah. single one. And she, she just can't help it. So she just feels it and has to, like, almost sweat it out of her system yeah, by just wow. sitting there. And then you have to apologize for what you haven't done. Not even, because she's not like illogical. She knows, what, but she knows that she's yeah. doing this. She just, yeah. I go, I'm sorry you had a bad dream. <laughs> yeah. Say sorry for her. And then you go, cuckoo, as you, as you leave the room. I'm sorry you dreamed of me 69ing Jack's films. <laughs> <laughs> Oh <laughs> I know you had a vivid image of me fucking deep throwing the fucking the bartender friend that you got. Oh gosh. The, the Which bartender? The, the oh, bar tipsy, tipsy, the tipsy bartender. bartender. True, true. <laughs> she, you saw me going. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. To Nikki's credit, though, if she had a dream and she saw you just getting so deep throated, that would be like disturbing. Yeah. How do you want to think yeah. about that? It's hard to wake up to. You yeah. don't want to think about me getting deep throated? Now I am. Not a good friend, dude. Yeah. As soon as you said yeah. it. How do you get, sh imagine getting shot in the testicle though? How did it miss the dick? Because if you're yeah. aiming at it, how did it? Did well, maybe he, it? he had it moved upward where the belt is oh. before she did the shot. 
Dang, and and probably. he said he didn't want an apology, and then, dude, that maybe? Is Why is he so nice to her? How do you get shot in the Tesco without it hitting your leg? Yeah. No clue. Maybe he, maybe he was doing like a jump maybe split, like <laughs> yeah, and go <laughs> to try to dodge it. He's like, whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Missed all the vital organs. Is, is it just me? Like a cowboy movie. Yeah. Do you guys picture like if your testicle punctures, you just jizz all over the place? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. It's like blood, blood and jizz. Yeah. Yeah. It's like oh egg whites. God, <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then man. the paramedic shows up and like, step away from this man. He's like, oh my god, is he okay? He's like, he just needs to come for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> or, or does he just feel it in his stomach? Like, you know, you hit oh, the balls oh and you just feel your stomach. God. Is he just like, holding his stomach the whole time? Oh. That's an interview I would love to yeah. to hear. Is like, oh. what's it like getting shot in the test? Yeah, He's probably got that. really, really saggy balls. So oh, he said he says that. So the, there's a 911 call where, uh, that's transcripted, and he says one shot. Um, I got shot. I think he went through my testicle and into my butt cheek and out. Oh, oh shit. What? He got a fat old ass, huh? That landing strip, went, it went right through the landing wow. strip. Yep. Oh, and then he man. says, I still to this day love her, and uh, I only want her to get better, and if she ever gets better, well, everything's on the table, basically. That makes me very upset. Why? why? Cuz is why are you why are you treating them that way when they did all this fucked up shit? Cuz they're they're hurt, bro. They're fucking yeah. hurt, they're, people, hurt, people. Yeah, hurt people hurt people. Dog. And you know what I say? That's empathy. Grow up emotionally, dude. If you like that shit and you like getting hurt, go get hurt some more then. Yeah, dude. If that's what you want. Do you guys have any friends that have come back from a really big infraction in the relationship? Wait, what do you mean? Like Stay you? together even though something really massively destructive happened. Oh. I'm trying to, I don't think so. No. I don't know. Yeah. Usually they leave, they do the, you know. Do you have a death leave. story for us? <laughs> yeah, are you yeah, setting this worse. up? Worse. Worse. Oh, tell us, tell us. What's worse than but that? It's like hard to fucking, all right. The girl <laughs> fucked all the dudes. God, I hope man. that these people don't see this, but like, um, I got a friend who's like, they, they were married for like over a decade. Um, at one point, um, one of them cheated with a minor. Ooh! How young? And, and, and did and actually and actually did prison time, and uh, and they still got back together. And they're still together. This was day. the guy or which? Was the guy or the girl cheated? For sure, it was the guy. Yeah, because Bart's about to say if it was the girl, it's okay. Yeah. I don't want. I don't want to say because I feel like it's gonna identify them. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to say either because I think I know. But you yeah, know? I, just, no, I can only oh, think of certain people. But. but they but they stayed together. They were married. When it happened, and is they're it, still married today. Can I ask if it's a teacher? Uh, don't say yeah. it. Don't say yeah. it. No. Uh, you said it. Wow. Now I know. Now I know who it yeah. is. You're a guess who pro. <laughs> I mean, I think it's fairly obvious. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Not, not that I know who it is. I don't know who this is. No, no, no. Oh, but that's, oh, like, but that's like that's a very. Uh, I know the situation too. Yeah. But it's like, how do you get yeah, access yeah, yeah, yeah. to young guys? That's what I was gonna ask too. Yeah. That's what I asked. That's that. the biggest thing I've ever seen. Like a like a like a friend, a close friend in a relationship, and they survived through that, and they're totally like. They're, they're great today. You That's never know crazy. That. Yeah, but they what? stayed together because they had kids for the kids or no? For, because of the fucking power of Jesus Christ our Lord. Dude, ride or die. Die. they're ride or dies yeah. for each other. Yeah, they're, they're Christian couples. You don't think that there's some times where they get no fight and he's like, well, he said, fuck a kid, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Because you could use that forever. I it's think. a closer. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's such a good. He, I mean, they're such they're such good. I guess like good natured people. Or Wait, is. what? One of them is. <laughs> and he so or like, she um, knows. Yeah, they're Seventh Day Adventist, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, fuck, man. Uh -oh. Here's their names. <laughs> <laughs> I might as well just tell you. But yeah, it was, it's rough. But I, that that's one thing that I was like, ooh, it's over. It's got to be over. And then like. It's never been better. I bet that shit's way more common than we think. I think that's the deal. It is, yeah. it is, it is. But like think, abuse. I agree. I, I think, think that it has to be for, It's yeah. forgiveness culture. It's more but but do, you think, do you think it's more along the lines of like, like, you don't know love the way I do. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't know her? You, no, no, it's like, it's like, it's like, yes. <laughs> it's like, what if they believe that their love is so strong, it can go past these obstacles. I think that can move mountains. Yeah, it's, yeah. I think yeah. Like when you're that's a good narrative. When you're rooted in like, let's say you have like high faith, uh, I think yeah. your your power of forgiveness is forgiveness. Oh, it is, is. dude. Yeah. But you know what? Do you it's think correct. it's true that once you see the end result of all the shit they went through and they're still together, do you think that it's act the power of love is stronger than everything? The power of forgiveness, I think the power is, forgiveness is stronger than that yeah. and the faith shit. But also yeah, depends how old they are too, yeah. though, bro. Like I and how yeah. Like if they're 
a certain age, how likely are you going to be like, all right, I'm done with this. I'm going to start fresh. I'm going to start dating again. Like if you're like 55 or something? Right. Not even. I think even we're like late 30s. Or if you've been with somebody for 10 fucking years, right? I think your likelihood of being like, you know what? I'm not going to. I don't want to redo this whole thing again. Their, their timeline, when it happened, would be similar to if it happened to you yeah. and Tiff, like, right now. So now we can really narrow it down. Oh, fuck. Was it me? Was it me? <laughs> was it me? <laughs> Do you think doing that, like, forgiving something that crazy and that big doesn't come with, like, repercussions, like, later? That's the thing. That's, because you're enabling it, that. Bro, now it's okay. I think the average person, it will haunt them and it will come back. But I think if you're, like, a fucking strong-ass Christian, bro, like, it's they're, they're operating yeah. at a different level. Think yeah, about the yeah, videos yeah. that we've seen of, like, a, it's like a serial killer's trial and then the family's member is, like, shaking or whatever. And then they're like, you know, I forgive you. I pray for you every oh, day. Yeah. And it's like, dude, this guy cut the person's head off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like your loved one got, got their head cut off. And they're just going, yeah. <laughs> it's comparable. It's comparable Wild. to a neoliberal when someone murders their family and they're just like, I it's want so the best for you. Like oh, it's yeah. comparable to that. I'm yeah. praying that they release you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there's I, definitely something off about that. Like, I, I think to, to I the is. average person, it is going to look yeah. off. But it's off to me. I need revenge. I'm, I need, I'm a very petty person. <laughs> I big, want blood. Uh, but that's also a virtue, right? Like, it's, it, for, for really religious people, yeah. it is a virtue for it to be like, no, Yeah, because you're not holding play. hate. Yeah. You're just relaxed. And then the <laughs> mindset hate. of like, if I hold this in my heart forever, oh, dude, they yeah. win, you know, that type of shit. Yeah. Like, a lot of people think that I way, think, too. Yeah, I, think I think they're wrong. I think you should always get revenge. You, that's not a win. Yeah, it's a fucking... It's L. a win when you dunk on them. Yeah, exactly. Right. As a Christian, I think, I think it's a win when you're like, when you're a serious Christian, to be able to forgive something of that magnitude is like a proving ground of like, I am this person with this faith. That means there's like not a lot of Christians in America then. <laughs> yeah, it's hard, man. When yeah, I'm at the hard. pearly gates, the first thing I'm gonna ask is like, <laughs> hey, were you keeping fucking score? Yeah. <laughs> How'd I do? Did you see my game out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see my fucking game? Hey, pull up my stats. Come on, let's see them. <laughs> Dang. I got them all back, baby. I got some threes. I, got, I was sinking threes. Pulling from half. Thank <laughs> you.